Hello, this is this is Gang Art, and today I'm gonna be doing another comic book review or graphic novel review. And this time around, I'm gonna be doing a review for Cryptozoic Man. Um, so yeah, this is basically the comic book that the um that um yeah uh, let me rephrase that. Um, basically for those who have seen um AMC's TV series Comic Book Man, you guys know that the store owners there, um Walt Flanagan. Mike Sapsick, Ming Chang, and who else was it? Um, John, um, Brian Johnson. We know that they created a comic book. This is the comic book. Um, yeah, I have to rephrase that. So yeah, um, uh, before I begin though, 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual for those that get to actually watch, read the comic book, the first volume of it, which is called, um, Decapitation Strike, the Cryptozoic Man, Decapitation Strike. Um, for those that get to actually read it. And I'm already stopped the video, but to get on and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds for the warning, as usual, starting now. <laughs> okay, so 10 seconds are up. So for those that did actually watch, um, read the volume one of Cryptozoic Man, Decapitation and Strike. For those of you to actually read it and haven't already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave you a fair warning because as usual, I did. So yeah, as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the ratings. Um, so yeah, basically you have this guy called Alan Ost Osterman, or Osterman, um, and his daughter goes missing on a camping trip. And so now he has to, um, so not me basically searching for his daughter. Thing is that he encounters all these mystical beings, all these mystical creatures and supernatural cr and people or creatures or whatever. And you have the Loch Ness monster. You have Bigfoot. You have Chupacabra, the Yeti, the Yeti, the Jersey Devil. Um, you have um this pig man looking guy. You have a bunch of ghosts and zombies at one point. And yeah, uh, what 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 the what can I say about this book or series or whatever? It okay for the positives. There are times where the writing is decent. There are times where the writing is decent, and there are times, and for the most part, the art is actually pretty good. I will admit the art is actually pretty good for the most part. And that's more or less what, where the praises end. With some pretty decent writing, pretty good artwork. Aside from that, this book is complete shit. Um, yeah, it is complete fucking shit. Um, the plot makes no sense. I mean, it sounds pretty basic, you know. Guy finds guy, uh, guy searching for his daughter, and he encounters some obstacles along the way. But it, it seems like there's like several different subplots going on at the same time that just have no, that really have no purpose being here. There's, there's a bunch of stuff that happens just because it does happen or for convenience or whatever. Um, it's really weird. It's really, I don't want to say boring. It's just really confusing is what it is. Um, I reread it a couple of times and it still makes no sense. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, stuff just kind of happens at times without any real explanation. There is a hell of a pacing issue because the first issue was pretty slow. The second issue was fast as all hell. And then the third issue was eh, okay paced. And then the fourth issue just went like up and down, up and down like clockwork. Um, I mean, so yeah, I mean, it, it has no pacing. It has, I mean, I, I mean, from one, from one frame to another, you go from like being on a spaceship to a, to a wood then to being in a kitchen to the house and then back to the spaceship and then back into a dream and then going into a dream and then into space and it makes no sense whatsoever none of the characters make sense you i don't even know who the hell the main character is um supposedly the main character is alan but you have like five different main characters uh going on due to the fact that you have like 10 different subplots going on it just makes no sense whatsoever um so that's a it's a terrible um terrible terrible graphic novel um i was really hoping for this to be great great because i do like the i do like the people who make it you know the tv show comic book man i do, actually do like the show i think that i find it enjoyable but you know this this comic book was pretty complete shit and the thing is that this is volume one and i mean it's an independent book dynamite 
So I guess that's good, but it's just complete shit. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent, I give it a 3.5 out of 10. It's really bad. It's really terrible. I mean, the writing and the artwork are actually pretty decent, but aside from that, what the hell? Um, yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below your thoughts on the comic book if you've read it already, or graphic novel if you've read it already. Aside from that, like the videos are on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. Um, um, aside from that, follow me, follow me on Instagram, Daniel March, in which I post stuff about comic books, TV shows, and movies. And aside from that, you know, subscribe, comment down below, like the videos are on Facebook, Twitter, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel March, signing out.